Here's the story of Hansel and Gretel. Exactly how the brother and his sister ended up lost in the woods is of no concern to us. This is where the story begins. Of course, everyone knows of the witch, the ancient, white-haired, crooked-nosed mistress of darkness. Yet when the children first met her, she seemed a kindly woman who fed them with the freshly made candy she had in her pocket. And it was with the promise of more treats to follow that Hansel joined the woman. Little Gretel was skeptical, in the way little girls sometimes are, but the looming sense of the forest forced her to ignore her instincts. Her house was not made of gingerbread, However, the aroma of fresh sweets perfumed the woman's cottage and entranced the children to stay. Gretel was curious as to why there were toys but no children, but when she would ask the woman, she would get no reply. Hansel could never leave her sight and was often trapped in the cottage for days at a time. Because of this, poor Gretel was forced to do all the chores. Oddly, the woman never responded to the children's concerns about finding their parents. It was as if they would be forced to live there forever. Once a week, the woman would leave the house dressed in black. The woman would lock Hansel in a cage, daring Gretel to leave without him. On one such day, Gretel found the woman's locket on the ground. The clasp had broken without the woman realizing. The grieving woman searched high and low, yet the locket was nowhere to be found. Gretel was not an evil girl, but she knew now was the moment to act. And with one great big push, Gretel shoved the woman in the oven with nothing but a piercing scream. Hansel and Gretel fled the cottage, never looking back. When they were a great distance away, Gretel opened the locket to find a picture of a young boy. Whether the children made it safely out of the forest is unknown. The story tells us they did. The story tells us they lived happily ever after. <laughs>